everyone. Hope you are ready for a new adventure. In today's episode, we are going to review modal verbs and also how to write a letter of complaint. We are going to start by the first activity where we are going to review the different function that we can express using modal verbs can or also, and also the modal verb may. So here is the first activity with Mr. Zian reading the different sentences. Okay, are you ready? Let's go. Sentences. I can play the violin and the guitar. When I was a child, I couldn't do anything I wanted. Three, I hope I can start my band, my own band, and be as famous as Celine Dion. Four, can I, I mean, may I take part in the contest? Five, I think I'll be, I mean, I'll be able to register. I mean, this afternoon. Okay, now let's move to the different factions. So A, expressing a wish. Two, expressing a future ability. Three, expressing a present ability. Four, I mean expressing a past ability. And finally, asking for permission. Well, here you have the different functions. So let's see right now what um, the answer is for this exercise. Follow me now. I can play the violin and the guitar. So here, the function is clear, expressing a present ability. Number two, when I was a child, I couldn't do anything I wanted. So here, it is obvious too that we are expressing a past ability. Number three, I hope I can start my own band and be as famous as, as Celine Dion. So here, of course, we are expressing a wish. Number four, may I take part in the contest? So here, I am asking for permission. So the question, I mean, the, the function here is clear, is asking for permission. The last one, which is number five, I think I'll be able to register this afternoon. So here, we are expressing a future ability. Am I right? Yes, you are, Mr. Zian. So to sum up what we did so far, can is used for different functions to express ability and inability when it is in the negative form. And also may is used in the same way. So may it, we can use it to express possibility and of course to ask for permission. And when it is in the negative form, we use it to express impossibility. Okay, now you have to remember that all the models precede the verbs in the base form. Example, so model plus verb. Example, uh, you can pass the BM exam. Well, this is what we will see if you got it in the next activity. You need to complete the sentences with the model verbs should, may, could and can. Number one, God bless you, my son, your help is welcome. Two, he was in a hurry, so he wait for you. Three, I ask you a personal question. Four, people protect animals. Okay, Mrs. Yang, would you give us the answers, please? No, you give us the answers. Okay, I'm waiting for you to give the answers. All right, here are the answers. So for, the, for number one, you need to say, may God bless you, my son, your help is welcome. Two, he was an, in a hurry, so he couldn't wait for you. And three, uh, can I ask you a personal question? And we can also, yes, may I ask you a personal question? Number four, people should protect uh, animals, endangered animals. Remember, should is used to express obligation. All right. So that's for this, this activity. Let's move to the next part. Now. We are going to show you how to write a letter of complaint. So, I mean, if you speak about us, what do we complain about? Mizzini, if I ask you a question, what generally do we complain about? Well, in general, we complain about our environment problem, just like the following letter, all right? Let's read the following letter to find out about the letter of complaint. How do we write it and its layout? Let's read together. Okay. 
Dear citizens of the world, I have just visited different places around the world and you can't imagine the harm you are doing to Earth. You people are cutting down trees. You are covering fertile land with concrete. You are polluting the land, air and water with your cars, airplanes and ships. I wanted to raise your attention that the harm you are doing to the planet is affecting you as well. I am also complaining because lots of animals like me are in danger. Looking forward to seeing you, our, to seeing our planet safer. Thanks for the good things you would do to save us. Tiki the penguin. All right. Okay. So. Could you say it again? Tiki the penguin. Tiki the penguin. You mean that Tiki the penguin wrote this letter? Well, yes. Ping Tiki the penguin is a special one. All right. So he is complaining, asking us to save the earth. So what is important here is that your job is to list the different environment problem that Tiki mentioned in his uh, letter of complaint. All right. And I think that they are quite clear because we are all in the same sharing them <laughs> together. So the first uh, problem is going to be cutting the tree. Of course, trees. Second problem, covering good fertile land with concrete. Three, polluting the land, air and water with your cars, airplanes and ships. And four, of course, lots of animals are in danger. Here are the problems. So, Mr. Zian, yes. after listing the problems, what will we do? Okay, now we are going to write a paragraph. OK, by putting all these problems together, OK, using, I mean, to speak about cause and consequence. Mm -hmm. So the activity is easy. What you have to do is simple. Choose the appropriate connector to complete the sentences. OK, so sentence one, people build more houses on farming land, put in brackets, because and so less land is left for farming number two we are cutting and burning the tropical forest which in brackets consequently since after the weather is changing for worse now number three i mean factories are throwing their chemicals waste in lakes and rivers which in brackets because in addition as a result a lot of living creatures are dying. Now, what, what are the we answers? are going to do? So let's check now the answers. So for the first one, the connector will be? Well, it's obvious here. Yes, it will be the connector. I think it is so. Exactly. For two? For two, it is going to be consequently. Yes. And for three? For three, it is, of course, going to be as a result. That's it. So consequently. As a result, are connectors that we use to express the consequence or yes. the result. Make sure to use these connectors when you write uh, in your writing, in the BOM, or even when you just write in your diary, for instance. All right. So now, Mrs. Yan, what is the next activity that we will so do? So this is exactly what the next activity is about. So we are going to put the sentences, the following sentences in the right column. So the sentences are, as you can see, recycle paper, glass and plastic, plant trees, throw rubbish, save electricity, waste energy, and cut trees. So here, what we are going to do, you are going to tell us what, we sh what should we do and what we shouldn't do, because it is re really important. We have two columns now, so we are going to put the, the sentences in the first for with should do in the first column and shouldn't do in the second. Okay, Ms. Yeni? Well, here are the answers. So, the thing, the actions that we should do, we should recycle paper, plastic, and paper, sorry, glass and plastic, plant trees, save electricity. And the th actions that we shouldn't do is like throw rubbish everywhere, cut trees, and waste energy. Here we have the problems, we have the consequences. What will we do? 
Now, I mean, you have to pay attention. The complaint or the letter of complaint mm -hmm. is really different from a letter that you write to your friends. So yes. it is in general, it is formal. So you have to be careful how to use the right language forms and you have to choose your words too. Well, the letter of complaint has a specific layout. First, we have the address followed by the, the date. The other side, we have the receiver's address and, uh, of course, your uh, opening, like dear sir or madam. And then we have the body of the letter, which is made out of one introduction, two the problems, and then the solution. And by the end, you have the ending of your letter and the signature. Here is the layout of the letter, and this is exactly what we, you are supposed to produce when you write a letter of complaint. So, the next activity, Mr. Zian, we will practice the layout of a letter of complaint. So, we are going to do it together. What you are going to do is the following. You are going to reorder the different parts of the letter to get a correct letter of complaint. So, let's see, let's read together the different parts. So the activity is so reorder the, uh, the letter. Every time I go out for a walk, I have to compete with big dogs. We think the mayor can do something for the well-being of the citizens. One day, one of them, I mean, beat a, li a little girl. Another day, an old lady fell down because he jumped on her back. People are afraid of going out. The dogs bark too loudly, especially at night time. People cannot sleep well. Dear sir, yours faithfully, Alan Dogrest. Alan Dogrest, 9 Queen Valley, 3rd of November, 2004. So now let's move to the final, I mean, I mean, layout of the letter. So just have a look at the slide and you will see the letter of complaint, I mean, as you have to do it. Well, that's it, exactly. Now, in the last activity for today, you are going to first uh, um, write a letter, plan a letter of uh, complaint about the environment problems we suffer from, and then uh, write it down. So plan it and then write it, okay? So you need to, step one, list uh, the problems. Step two, give solutions. And of course, step three, remember, use a draft paper before writing your letter of complaint. So um, the problems that um, Mr. Zian is going to list them. What are the problems that okay. we may all suffer from? All right. Okay, so the problems are garbage is not collected on time. Mm -hmm. No trees in the street. Mm -hmm. Too much traffic. Okay. And now what about the solutions, Ms. Ziani? Here are the solutions. Of course, the garbage trucks must come on time, clean the street. For the, uh, and then we have to plant more trees and flowers to help reduce air pollution and ban traffic in narrow streets to reduce also air pollution. All right, so we have the problems, we have the solutions. All you need to do is to join them, make sentences, just like the letter of complaint you are going to read with us right now. Okay, then now here is how the letter of complaint should look like. Just make sure you use the connectors, all right, to a uh, link between the solutions for the different uh, problems, okay? So, today, what did we do? We um, expressed, of course, we revised the use of the uh, different um, modal verbs. We wrote a letter of complaint. Okay, before saying goodbye, we would like you, at the end of this episode, to be responsible, to be active, and participate, I mean, and participate and take care of your environment. Yes. So, as citizens, we have to take care of our environment. So, please, don't throw your garbage everywhere. Mm -hmm. Clean in front of your houses mm -hmm. and plant trees. All right, so this is all for today. Next time we are going to uh, talk about education. All right, revise the present perfect, identify consonant clusters, and of course, describe an educational system. Be with us next time, and we hope that what we did today was of great help to you. See you next time. See you.
Goodbye. Bye.